Now let's bring in lawyer to Mohamed Adoke, senior advocate of Nigeria, Michael Zekume, who joins us live now from Abuja. Uh, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Help us better understand the circumstances that led to the former Attorney General's return from the UAE and a subsequent arrest by the FCC. Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Michael Zekome, if you can hear me, I ask if you can help us better understand the circumstances that led to the return of the former Attorney General from the United Arab Emirates and his subsequent arrest by the FCC. Well, the circumstances are quite befuddling, uh, quite surprising, and um, I believe that it was a, a, a storm in a teacup which ought not to have occurred at all. The Attorney General, former Attorney General of the Federation, Mohamed Bello Adoka, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, had left the country in May 2015 after he served out his five year tenure as Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice and went to the Netherlands to pursue his master's degree in international law, LLM. There was no accusation against him. There was no allegation against him. There was no case filed against him. Then two years later, in 2017, the FCC, whilst Adoke was already there, investigated Adoke, went to his house in Okene and Kano, searched everywhere. They didn't find anything uh, incriminating. But they know the lawyers charged him to court. Uh, allegedly for his role in the uh, OPL245 Malabu oil uh, transaction. Adoka said he had done nothing wrong, that he was just attorney general, that all he did was to give legal advice that the federal government should obey a subsisting and extant judgment, which said certain amounts be paid under the oil transaction. And that, that was all. In fact, even the charge against him, none of them had said he took one or, or he embezzled one naira. And he said he was innocent. He went to the Federal High Court, before the Federal High Court Justice Bintanyako, and got a judgment which exculpated him completely of any wrongdoing, that he was a mere servant acting on the directives of the then president, just to sign an agreement that a judgment be obeyed. Notwithstanding that, in April this year... I get your point the um, EFCC, very quite the well, government. but if I can interject you very quickly, well, the EFCC's position is that it's returned due to the legal tussle and allegations that he has to answer to. Do you think now that the former ADF is back, he will be able to defend these allegations and prove his innocence, as you have stated, at a court of competent jurisdiction? He doesn't have to prove his innocence. That's the thing Nigerians must understand. For God's sake, we are operating the Anglo-Saxon-based criminal justice system, which ennures in you your innocence under Section 36 of the Constitution. You don't have to prove your innocence. Rather, your traducers, your accusers have to prove your guilt. And it has to be proved beyond reasonable doubt. We are not operating the French model where you have to prove your innocence. But in any case, be that as it may, Adoke voluntarily determined, based on my advice, when there was a logjam, because he could not be extradited, the extradition process had not even started, it had, there are more than 10, uh, 10 steps leading to extradition, the federal government had not even started that, the UAE, Dubai, and Interpol authorities kept him based on the earlier order for, of, of warrant of, of his arrest, by Justice Dizes Senchi made in April this year, which order I had gotten vacated on the 25th of October 2019, meaning that there was no longer be any longer any basis for Adoka's arrest or detention. So when he showed them, when we showed them the judgment, they said, well, this order, we believe it, but it has to come directly from the federal government. But the federal government was not ready to give them the renewed order, which showed that the joy had also vacated the order. Based on that long jam, Adoka told, and, and I told him, 
You don't have anything to fear. You better All right, that's the Nigeria. time. I'm afraid that's the he time we have there. now. Senior advocate of Nigeria. So he came back to Nigeria voluntarily, voluntarily. Lawyer to former Attorney General of the Federation, Michael Zekerman. Thank you for talking to us tonight on this matter.